in the last videos we have seen how to use various relational operators to form conditions in python in addition we have also seen how to connect multiple conditions using the and and or operators python supports all these relational operators less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to and in addition equal to and not equal to so python supports one beautiful feature to chain these relational operators whenever i would like to combine two or more conditions using the greater than relationship so i can use a greater than b and a greater than c we need to use the logical connectors you can avoid the usage of the logical connectors to improve the readability of the code you can chain the relational operators in this video we'll see how to use the chaining of the relational operators in python let a is 10 b is 2 and c is 5 so let's check the condition a is greater than b which is a true value and similarly i want to check one more condition b is greater than c so which is a false value a is greater than b which is a true value as 10 is greater than 2 is true so b is greater than c so 2 greater than 5 is a false value so now i would like to combine these two conditions as per the previous video we can combine these two conditions by using the logical connectors either and or or operators now i am going to use the and operator to connect a is greater than b and b is greater than c so which is returning a false value so instead of using this logical connector what i can do is so python provides a beautiful feature which is known as a chaining of the operators where you can use these kind of chaining of the relational operators so a is greater than b is greater than c this is equivalent to usage of this statement so both results in the same value which is a false value here in this statement you need to observe one thing we are checking a is greater than b and then it checks b greater than c so nowhere a is compared with c so if you want you can check that using a greater than b and a greater than c this statement is not equivalent to a greater than b and a greater than c so here it is written in a true state whereas it is written in a false because here in this statement we are checking a is greater than b and in addition we are also checking b is greater than c so both together are true or not we are checking so that's how we can use the chaining of relational operators in python so it need not to be greater than you can use any other operator also say for example i am going to use a less than b it is less than c or not using the statement actually you are checking a is less than b and b is less than c or not so actually we can use a chaining of equality operator also a equal to b equal to c or not so you are checking a equal to b which is in turn equal to c or not so you can even use the less than or equal to relationship so here you are checking a less than or equal to b and b less than or equal to c or not so that's how you can use the chaining of the relational operators so if you observe when you use the chaining of the relational operators the readability of the code enhances so instead of using a greater than b and b greater than c you can simply use a greater than b greater than c so this need not to be restricted to the two operators this can be extended to multiple operators also say for example 10 greater than 20 greater than 30 greater than 40 in turn greater than 50 so here you are checking 10 greater than 20 and 20 greater than 30 and 30 greater than 40 and 40 greater than 50 so all these conditions you are checking together so the advantage of using this chaining of the relational operators is so every expression is evaluated only once so here in this example whenever you are using the logical connector here the expression b is evaluated here in this expression once and the expression b is again evaluated in the second expression also but when you are using chaining of the relational operators in that case b is evaluated only once this is how we can use the chaining of the various relational operators in python now i hope you understand how you can chain the relational operators in python thank you thank you for watching this video